In the vast open expanses of Fort Sill, Oklahoma, the future of modern warfare unveils itself. Four laser-equipped Stryker Infantry combat vehicles rumble across the terrain, their turrets rotating and adjusting to every airborne threat. These vehicles are not just any combat vehicles, they are the Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, or DEM Shorad. A proud achievement, marking the dawn of a new era. These DEM Shorads are the perfect synergy of sheer power and cutting edge technology. Built on the chassis of the double hole striker designed to withstand ground explosions and IEDs, they carry the weight of a 50 kilowatt class laser. And powering this is an onboard generator, making the vehicle completely self-reliant. No longer does the Army need an entourage of support vehicles. DEM Shorad stands tall and independent, ready to defend its allies from airborne threats. Imagine, if you will, a beam of laser light so concentrated, so intense, that it's almost like a flamethrower, but thinner and hotter. This is the very beam that the DEM Shorad unleashes. A drone flying in its path, in a matter of moments, its wings or rotors get burnt off, sending it crashing to the ground. If the drone operates on fuel-based motors, the intense heat could cause it to ignite in mid-air. The power to neutralize threats isn't limited to drones alone. Enemy artillery, mortars and rockets, none can escape the watchful eyes and powerful laser of the DEM Shorad. But why the emphasis on shooting down drones and artillery? The answer lies in the ever-evolving nature of warfare. Drones, once mere reconnaissance tools, have transformed into formidable battlefield assets. Their capability to carry and launch rockets, coupled with their relatively low cost, has made them a significant threat to even the most modern tanks. In recent times, a mere $500 drone carrying an $800 rocket managed to incapacitate a $4 million tank, illustrating the evolving threat landscape. Traditionally, to counter such threats, armies resorted to guided missiles. But the economics never favor the defenders. Take, for example, Israel's Iron Dome defense system, which employs missiles worth 40,000 to 50,000 to shoot down enemy rockets, costing a mere fraction of that. Though necessary, the cost imbalance was glaring. Enter DEM Shorad. While the initial investment might be significant, the game changer is its operational cost. Every shot fired only costs the diesel fuel needed to generate electricity. As long as there's fuel, the laser keeps firing, ensuring that the skies above are safe. The Army's confidence in the DEM Shorad is evident. The first four of these laser striker vehicles have been assigned to Delta Company, 4th Battalion, 60th Field Artillery Regiment. Their motto? We rule the heavens. Quite fitting, wouldn't you agree? But as with all technological advancements, the question arises, will this be the final answer to the rising drone threat? Drone technology, too, is advancing at a rapid pace. They're not only becoming more efficient, but also becoming cheaper. This makes them easier to produce and deploy in swarms. The challenge is real, but so is the promise of the DEM Shorad, a mobile vehicle equipped with a powerful laser that's self-sufficient, able to protect maneuver forces and counter the airborne threats of today and possibly those of tomorrow. In the arms race that characterizes modern warfare, the DEM Shorad stands as a testament to human ingenuity a symbol of adaptability and readiness. As drones swarm the skies and artillery lights up the horizon, the laser striker vehicles stand vigilant, ready to assert their dominance. In this chess game of power and strategy, the DEM Shorad is the Army's newest queen, and with it, they might just checkmate their adversaries.